Masquerade and the Magic Moonbeam Masquerade flew happily along the Milky Way. She was on her way to perform a play for the Man in the Moon. Can we come and watch the play, Masquerade? asked the stars and the clouds swirling around her. Of course you can, laughed the little pony. Hurry, though, while the starlights are on green. Masquerade, here you are at last, called the man in the moon coming out of his moon house. Everything's ready for you. Do come inside. Starry skies, you look different tonight, said Masquerade. I've dressed up for you, replied her friend. The audience sat down and soon Masquerade appeared, her tail and mane braided into hundreds of tiny plaits. Her eyes twinkled through the slits in her mask as she bowed to the man in the moon. Then Masquerade lifted her head and sang. Sky Dancer and Medley came into the moon house. Sky Dancer jumped on a table and began to dance. Medley waved her tail and the sound of a harp tinkled round the room. Soon the clouds and the stars were dancing too. Be my partner? a cloud asked the man in the moon. But he shook his head. How strange, thought Masquerade. He loves to dance. He must be feeling tired tonight. The play was over. Masquerade had appeared as ten different characters and everyone had enjoyed themselves. Will you take this present to Majesty? said the man in the moon, giving Masquerade a box. Put it beside her so she finds it when she wakes. So later, just as dawn was breaking, Masquerade crept into Dream Castle and quietly put the box next to Majesty. Spike awoke with a jump, just as Masquerade crept past him. The man in the moon sent a present, said Masquerade. Shh, whispered Spike. Don't wake Majesty. We had a late night. The man in the moon came to supper. But, Spike, I went to visit him last night. He couldn't have been here. Oh, no, we must get that present. Quick! Spike and Masquerade ran into Majesty's room. She's gone, gasped Spike. And look, she's taken her present with her. I think the present has taken Majesty, said Masquerade. The man in the moon I visited was not the real one. Fire-eating dragons! Of course it wasn't. He couldn't have been in two places at once, and the real one was here. But who did you see? Here come Medley and Sky Dancer. They were with me. Let's see what they think. Masquerade and Spike ran out to the courtyard. We found this note from Wizard Wantall, gasped Medley. It was him we saw, and that present was a magic moonbeam. It's taking Majesty to the wizard. He'll only let the moonbeam bring her back if we give him our waterfall. What can we do? Will the little ponies have to give Wizard Wantall their waterfall? The story will continue on a future Tuesday here at Skylark 24.